Hello everybody, welcome back to my channel. If you are new here, my name is Grace and it's been a hot minute since I've posted a video. But here I am, I'm back and I wanted to do um, an updated skincare routine because I have changed my products a lot. Um, I don't really use hardly like anything that I used um, in the last video. And I got a lot of new stuff that I tried and I wanted to show you guys everything that I'm using, everything that I love, and just hopefully um, you guys will wanna try some of it and see if it works for you. Okay, so my cleansing routine. So in the morning, I don't wash my face anymore. I just rinse it with water. But at night, I will do normally a double cleanse, but sometimes I don't. So the first product is the Naturium Fermented Camellia Creamy Cleansing Oil. So this was in my last video, I believe, and I still use it. I have gone through like four bottles of this, no joke. It is so good. Um, you put it on on dry skin, not on wet. Um, and just it takes off makeup, dirt, like sunscreen, like everything. And I love it so much. So I go in with this first and then I'll either go in with my Summer Fridays um, Super Amino Gel Cleanser. I love this stuff. This is my second bottle and I'm almost out of it. Or if my face is breaking out, I'll go in with Panoxyl. Tried and true. So many people hype this up. It is so worth the hype. It is so good. Um, but yeah, I mean, my skin was freaking out like for the past two months, like since October. And that's another reason I didn't want to film anything because my skin looked like shit. Like, I'm not going to lie. Like, it looks so bad. Um, but yeah, it's clearing up now. Thank God. But it was just like so much hormonal acne and like knock on wood that it's not going to look like that again. Also, addressing this background, please don't judge because I'm moving out of my of this place soon and I don't want to do anything with the bathroom. So we're just going to ignore the background. But anyway, Panoxyl, $9 at Target. It is so good. Um, I'll use this. So like what, really, I'll just go back and forth. So like I'll use this one day and then the next day I'll use this and just like alternate because this can get really drying and I don't want to overdo it because I think that my skin was still breaking out so bad because I was overdoing it. So those are the cleansers. And then after that, I have some toners and serums that I want to show you guys. So the toner that I use in the morning is well no i'm sorry i don't use toner in the morning the serum that i use in the morning is the good molecules color correct discolor correcting serum um this stuff is really good i really like it i use it in the morning um and it was 12 dollars at ulta they have like a bigger one for 24 but like if you wanted to try it out i would recommend getting the 12 dollar one and i do want to use more of the Good Molecules brand because they have like a lot of good stuff and they're really affordable. They're not expensive. So I use that in the morning. And then if my skin's dry, I will use the Summer Fridays Dream Oasis um, Deep Hydration Serum. I love this stuff. And when my skin was really, really dry from the Panoxyl, I would use this and it left my skin glowing. So highly recommend that. And then... My new moist, well, oh, and I recently put in, like, started incorporating the Aloe Ativa um, Four Times Power Elixir Water and Lace Face Serum. Guys, this is worth the hype. Like, I saw Maggie and Emma McDonald um, talking about this, like, a while ago, um, and I wanted to get it, but it's 65 bucks. Like, I'm not gonna lie. Like, I was kind of like, mm, like at first I was like I don't really want to drop money on it but a lot of this stuff like my nighttime routine is kind of expensive so you guys are going to be like um but yeah no so I finally did it I bit the bullet I spent the money it is so good it is an instant glow 
I swear that it also helped clear my skin and I read the reviews before I bought it and like it was all five star reviews like not one person had one bad thing to say about it and other people were saying that it actually cleared their skin or like helped clear their skin and they noticed that they weren't breaking out like as often after they started using this I use this twice a day so good and then cream I use the Tatcha dewy skin cream my boyfriend got this for me for Christmas so obsessed obsessed I use this twice a day and I'm obsessed and it comes with like a little um this is actually like an applicator like I just feel bougie and I love it and it smells amazing it smells expensive <laughs> and it is expensive but it is worth every penny so I use that and then sunscreen I use the summer Fridays summer uh shade drops love this stuff Hailey Bieber recommended it everyone bought it but I managed to get it before it sold out but I also will use the drunk elephant umbra sheer physical daily defense spf 30. um this one is a different texture like consistency than that one this one is a little bit more white but it doesn't leave a white cast um so if you wanted to try either one of those i recommend this one's really good too so that's the a.m morning routine and then i will get into the nighttime routine now okay so the nighttime routine varies like so on nights that i'll do like a face mask i recommend the ole 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 henriksen cold plunge pore mask it's the blue one i really like this stuff i will say though if your skin is drier it burns but if your skin is like normal to oily combo it'll be fine or if you're just having like a drier season, it will burn, but it doesn't burn the whole time. I'm just saying that's like my experience with the product. I, and it never like would make me really red. I just noticed that it burned a little bit when I put it on, but I don't think it was like horrible. Like it did, I didn't need to take it off, but I'm just putting it out there. Like in case you guys try it and experience that, um, I'm just saying it could happen because there's um, AHAs in it. So I think that's why, but don't quote me on that. And then another mask that I really like is the Sand and Sky Detox Mask. This stuff also kind of burns when you put it on. Um, but it's like you put it on and it burns, but then the burn like immediately goes away. It like burns a little bit, but then it goes away. And it comes with a brush, which I really like because it's just easier to put it on. Um, that mask is a lot more expensive than this mask. This one was 25 and that one is 40 so if you didn't want to pay the money for that one, you could try this one because it's almost half the price. And then, so after I do masks, I will go in with the Caudalie um, Vino Perfect Essence. This also has AHAs in it. I like this. Or I also will use the Pharmacy Deep Sweep. As you can see, I'm like almost out of it i really really like this stuff it um you can use this morning and night if you're more acne prone um as you can see i still have like a little a little friend right there but i haven't been using this lately i've been kind of taking a break from toners and kind of letting my skin reset but i've been dipping my toes back into it another great um toner is the ordinary glycolic acid this stuff i don't think you're supposed to use every day I think you're only supposed to use it, yeah, it says no more frequently than once per day, um, but I think even that is kind of a stretch because this one is strong, um, but yeah, I also like this one and it's the cheapest one, so I'm trying to like incorporate more budget friendly because I know not everyone wants to spend 50, 60 bucks on a toner, but this one is $10, I believe, and I do like it, but like I said, I've just been taking a break from toners and I've been kind of trying to like repair my skin barrier because I think I was overdoing it. But when I do use toners, I use between those three. So then my nighttime serums, I have been using the Good Jeans by Sunday Riley. This stuff is so, so good and it's so expensive. I know it is so expensive, um, but I love it, like love it. 
it leaves my skin glowing and it also has been helping with like dark spots and acne and if you're like looking to invest you need this it is so good like i am obsessed with it and then after that i will do like a um a, like a dark spot serum which i will use the caudalie again it's very expensive it's like 90 bucks but it's very 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 good and i've used a lot of it and i've had this for like three months so it's worth the money because you're not gonna like use it all in a month and be like oh it's already gone um but that's why i like it so much and i do think that it really has helped with like dark spots because when i get acne they'll, they'll literally just like stain my skin and i'll have like spots left over for like three days no not three days like three months <laughs> so yeah but this stuff is really good and i try to use that like once a day normally at night time and then another serum from caudalie is the vino pure um salicylic acid acne serum i also use this like at night when my skin is like more breaking out um but i haven't been using it recently because like i said it's been clearing up but i really like this stuff too and then this is a prescription only trenton owen a lot of people use it i've been using this for like a year and i really like it and i do notice when i stop using it my skin breaks out more and it's not it looks like dull um but like besides this like my skin is looking really like i'm happy with how it looks right now um so yeah so i use that and then again i go in with my alawativa because i have to i love that stuff and i finish everything off with my tatcha night cream and i also use the ordinary multi-peptide like brow and lash serum this stuff is good but grande lash is better sorry like i'm just saying and that's just my opinion i think grande lash is better because i used grande lash like religiously and my lashes were like up to my eyebrows damn near but i do think that this kind of works i just don't think it's as good but it is more way more affordable because i know not ever like i said i know not everyone wants to drop 70 dollars on a lash serum and that's totally fair um but yeah that is my new routine those are all the products that i love oh lips duh i forgot about that um laneige pumpkin lip sleeping mask i have a couple of scents in that i also use cocoa butter palmers swivel stick ultimate moisture love this stuff it was literally like three bucks at target so this is a lot more affordable than laneige um but yeah i that is pretty much my whole skincare um i will link everything below and if you guys try anything let me know tell me how you end up liking it i hope that it works for you um as you can kind of gather from this video i have more acne prone skin i'd say it's like combo um so yeah that this is just stuff that works for me stuff that i like and stuff that i literally use every single day and some of it is expensive but some of it is pretty affordable so let me know if you guys um use anything and i hope that it works for you and meets your skin needs so yeah like and comment on this video and subscribe to my channel and stay tuned for more consistent posting. I love you guys. Bye.